Anglo-American platinum accounts for about 40% of the world's newly mined platinum. And the group's mining operations are mostly based in the Bushveld complex near Rustenburg, 80% owned by Anglo-American. Yeah, it's the dominant player, but it's interesting. Its production has come down sharply because it's been shifting its production to its high margin Mokhalakwena assets, which is an open cast mine up in the sort of central uh, Limpopo province and getting out of de-emphasizing its Rustenburg operations. So it's rejigged itself. It's got results out this morning, which may reset some of the numbers you're about to give us in the moment. Yes. So before the results came out, the market cap was sitting at 91 billion rand. Price to earnings ratio in the negative, a Indicating a prior area. write down of, so no profits, and no but that'll get reset. no surprise that it's currently paying no dividend. But as Paul says, we're going to be seeing a resetting of that scenario. Let's start with the share price graph. Mm. And that is reflective of That's the five year chart. And you can see it doesn't do very well in 2015, but at least it's sort of overall trend is sideways and it has done some work and it's looking better. Gary? Yeah, definitely looking a, a lot better. So again, you, you know, I haven't had time to go through the results because when I left the office, they weren't out yet. But uh, look at, looking at it, uh, you know, we were expecting, we did get a trading update a couple of days ago on, on the stock and we do expect that their debt to, to continue to decrease. We, we also see that at a mantle build. So you, you've already talked about Mokhola Kwena, which is their high quality asset. But we, we're looking at uh, refining profits actually increasing there based on, on, on chrome prices as well, which is actually going to be a significant uh, tailwind for the company. Again, the real risk to, to Amplats, it's, it's the judge Juggernaut in the sector is going to be rand dollar exchange rate as well. It's mm. it's not going to look favourably at a at a stronger rand, and we, we it does look like we're going into a stronger rand environment. So that, that but what gives about me a little bit now of a the the stronger dollar, which mm. will if you look at the dollar rand exchange rate, will basically translate into a weaker rand on the dollar. At Stronger some dollar. Point, yeah. The dollar has been firm the and the everyone has been getting excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rand has been, but, 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 but if the Fed is going to hike rates further. Mm. Stronger so it, dollar it's, it's quite possible, but at, at the moment, I think because of the, the extremely oversold levels we've, we've come off on, on the local currency as well, we've seen the dollar, you know, the dollar index appreciating against other developed world majors, but you've also seen, you've also seen the rand appreciate at an even faster pace, and that's why you're seeing that rand dollar exchange rate down yesterday. Yeah, I mean, but we whether down that's below sustainable 13. or not is another it's thing. Miracle. We were, we were looking we at 1% growth. Currency. Currency. <laughs> exactly. It's because we narrowly avoided a debt downgrade and because no one in the cabinet got fired lately. So that's like now we've got a good number you one You know, the fundamentals currency. still are not in favor of a stronger rand. Growth is still sitting at 1% mm. projected for the mm. year. We've got unemployment mm. at 27%. I don't see how these fundamentals, other mm. than the fact that we didn't see a cabinet reshuffle, <laughs> translate into <laughs> a stronger we could unit. Fix at any moment. I think this is Quite just temporary possible. strength in the local unit. Mm. Wow. And then it could be potentially be a, a buying opportunity on Amplats, which will benefit from a weaker currency. Mm. Right. So, so, what are we going to do? Chris Griffiths call it? has done great work here. I mean, they announced also today the further sale of additional, uh, you know, low margin uh, union mining assets to a company called Sianda Resources. They sold a whole bucket load of them to Sibanya, which we'll talk a bit about mm -hmm. later. So, they've basically halved their production, say, from like, you know, a decade ago. So that's important because what you're looking at here is a much more profitable, much more sustainable, much higher margin, much lower workforce, so therefore much less dependent on armies of un, uh, you know, disciplined and relatively poorly paid uh, you know, AMCU and NUM members. I don't know how to put that in a very uh, sort yeah, that, of PC sort of fashion. I don't know how fashion. diplomatic that was. That wasn't but, very diplomatic, uh, well, but you know, from an investment point of view, it looks a lot better. And I think the debt levels have halved, if you look at the results this morning, down to about seven billion. So it's beginning to look a lot more attractive. Mm. And, you know, I think Chris Griffiths will continue to do amazing work and one's got to give them credit for it. Right, but you're still waiting for the, the currency impact and yeah. if we're seeing a strong rand as you prefer. I think again, I mean, you, you, know, you know, on the trading update from uh, uh, the other day, we, d we did see that they, they were expecting earnings above, uh, you know, to increase more than 20 percent. But uh, again, that's coming off a very low base. They had, you know, a burnout of smelter in Q3. They had uh, problems in Q1 as well with, with some of their Section 54 stoppages. So, you know, these results maybe look a little bit better than, than the situation. But I think that, you know, when you look at Amplats, which I think they, they account for about 40 percent of the supply in the, in the industry of newly yeah, they do. It, it, it's, it's enormous. It's an enormous company, and you're kind of betting on the sector as a whole. So I think there's, there's perhaps clever, clever, more clever players in the in the sector that we can we can go for. I thought you were leading up into a hot day. Didn't it sound as though yeah. it's, it's going to go yeah, hot? It's, it's not, so it's you're not going not hot. Yeah, now. I'm going to go not hot because you know we don't particularly invest heavily in platinum as it is. There are, I think, opportunities, but this this for me is not not. I think there's there's better opportunities in All other right. sectors. Okay.
Becky, that's granted. Hot mm. or not, Paul? I'm going to go hot. It's a little bit of a head scratcher because I am worried that the RAND could continue to stay firm, mm. but I'm liking the general trend. Did I point out yet that uh, Chris Griffiths is my CEO of the month? You know that he was on holiday in Tanzania and he got run over by a buffalo. He actually got run over, gored by a buffalo. Wow. Within like four days later, he appeared on a wheelchair at the mining summit in Is Cape Town. Is that why he was on a wheelchair? I didn't and know And delivered the story his speech and it. told everybody about, I think he's the employee of the month and the CEO of the month. Well, there we go. Well played. Uh, big up to Chris Griffiths. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a, uh, a hot. hot from you and a not, not hot, hot from, from Gary on uh, Amplats, but now